Hello, my name is Aaron Raber, 33 years old, blessed husband of a beautiful wife and a father to three amazing children. They're uh, eight, five, and three. And I just found out this morning that they'd used up all the black ink, so I have this strange magenta paper here. <laughs> it's very manly, Aaron. <laughs> I own an insulation company, and I love CrossFit. I was raised in a Christian home and accepted the work of Christ at the age of 12. Salvation was taught, but grace was not really believed in. Shortly after accepting Christ, I was baptized into a conservative church group. The group had a strong one true church doctrine and had lots of hoops to jump through to maintain my salvation. I, could, I never could live good enough to meet all the rules. I lived most of my life in terror that somehow I was living in sin to the point that God's blood wouldn't cover me and he would return and I would spend eternity in hell. I was married at 21 and life seemed pretty good for the most part. In 2007, my wife became pregnant with our first child. About midway through the pregnancy, it became apparent that something was wrong. We prayed that God would work things out and healing would take place. December 12, Mara was born. She was a beautiful little girl, but very sick, and only lived two days. That really dumped my whole world upside down and made me start to question everything. My wife and I were battling with depression and anxiety. I was struggling to stay within the bounds of the church I was raised in, but had been taught that to leave was damnation to my soul. I tried to just kill my desire for life and happiness, thinking that was the only way I could survive. In the spring of 2014, someone gave me the book called The Journey of Desire by John Eldridge. As I read that book, my eyes started to open, and I began to see that Jesus was calling me into a glorious life in pursuit of him. I was saved when I was young, but that spring I truly learned what it means to fall in love with Jesus and to live in relationship with him. That year was an amazing season of learning to know the Father and healing. My wife was with me on this journey, and we soaked in Papa's love that summer. In November of 14, I told God that I would no longer follow man, but only follow him. I heard him say almost audibly that that meant leaving the church I was raised in. I told him I was willing. I knew that would have huge implications on my life socially, as I and my family would be excommunicated and shunned by all of our friends and family. I got home from work that day and told my wife about it, and she had heard the identical message from God that day. In January 15, we made the declaration to our families that we were leaving. Life has had many challenges since then. We have felt quite alone many times, but Jesus has rescued us many times as well. Last spring, the True Pursuit retreat was announced in church, and I immediately felt I needed to go to that. It was an amazing time of, taking, of just taking time to listen to the Father's voice and really reconnect with Papa. I'd been asking Papa for a new name, starting shortly after coming into my walk with Christ, so it had been almost three years. On the last afternoon there, I was walking by the lake and just asked God, Who am I? He spoke. You are Aaron Raber. You are a man. You have what it takes. I've called you out to be a warrior a leader of men. You are Aaron Raber. You are a son. You are amazing. I love you limitlessly. You are no longer Aaron the dreamer, Aaron the lackadaisical. You are Aaron the brave. And he told me to, he says, look up what your name, name means. So I opened up my dictionary. And Aaron means lofty, exalted high mountain, mountain of strength. My first baptism was not, I was not immersed in. It felt more like an entrance into a specific denomination than a true baptism. I'm making this public statement today, being baptized as a true symbol that the old Aaron is dead, and I'm emerging from the water, celebrating my new heart, a child of God, clean and whole by Jesus' blood, Aaron the Brave.
just as I, I cry. I'm